guys what's up and welcome back to my channel in today's video guys as i explore the northern circuit of zambia today i'm at the muense guest house in muense going to kawambwa but before i reach kawambwa i'm going to pass through one of the main waterfalls we have in zambia the popular Ntumba Jushi waterfalls. Then I'll finish. I'll show you everything, drone shots, everything, guys. So make sure if you are new on my YouTube channel, please do subscribe, turn on bell notification, give this video a thumbs up. Okay, let me show you the path I'm going to take. Okay, to begin with, as usual, I came far from Lusaka. This is the giant map, uh, which was given to me by Trucks Africa. Yeah, I didn't buy it, it came from Truck Africa. Uh, from Lusaka here, I moved like this, came all the way, moved to the road. I was in Samfia, as you can see Samfia there. I came to Mansa, from Mansa, I came to Muense. That's where I am right now. So from Muense, I'm going to Kawambwa here, but here in Kawambwa, before I reach Kawambwa, I'll go to film the Ntumbachushi and showcase it to the world. Uh, like we always say, Zambia has, from Kawambwa, we'll talk about Mporokoso, but before there, I'll go to Karungwishi, River Falls, Kaweluma, Kundabwika, Lumangwe, I'll be in Mporokoso, going on to Mbalam, Kasama, that's where my journey is going to end. But today, let me finish by telling you, I'm also using this less expensive motorbike. Many people are used to Honda, but I'm using the Gatoma. So if you want to buy a Gatoma, please call Moses. Call Moses Nguenya uh, from Gatoma, where you can buy this motorbike. They also have branches scattered around Zambia, Mansa, uh, I saw in Lusaka, Chipata, their headquarters. So this is the beast I'm using today. So if you are new, subscribe. Let's go to Kawambwa via Tumbachushi waterfalls. Let's go. Hey guys, just like that, we are out. So guys, as you can see, that's the Muense uh, Town Council, Muense Town Council, and that's the only feeding station here. Well, but it's not working. I don't know whether they are servicing it. I can see Muense Trades Training Institute. So I'm going this side. That's where Kawambwa is. And I came from this side. So these are some of the shops here. As I start off my journey briefly. So guys, let's go to Kawambwa. Using the Gatoma motorbike. But ultimately my purpose, although I'm going to Kawamba, is to show you the Mpumbatushi waterfalls. Let's go. It's a beautiful sunny day in the morning. Coming from Muense, beautiful surrounding, but I can tell you it is typical rainy season here in this part of Zambia. Not all parts of Zambia okay, look so like no this. Okay, so you know, not Okay, 
Ekwa ba avena ngumbo, avena unga na kavende. Veni ma uku na fuma kumwense. Kumansa sorry, kumansa kwa ba 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 ushi. So kuno kuna chitu ndushi. Eh? Chirunda ka? So mamu na nangu ichiwe mbala chena chaba pengi ya ini? Kuno kwa ba ichirunda ini? Ok, ingo kundee oku. Ndea kuka wambwa. Fesi ndea pita kwa mwata kazembe. Kuli ya chitu ndu shibaranda kuli. Oh, yeah, that's why because of Luba Lunda. Yeah. So, apa, hii iskuri isika gredishani? Hey. Pasu masana kuno kanshi. Mwaza sambili rabu ino sana. Ati, ati nisha nishina. Hii, ati nisha nishina. Kawambwa. Oh, Kawama. Kawama secondary. Okay. All right. Bane, natote la sana. Ipira grade 12. Awa, muka pase von 79. Ine nafuma kulu saka. Kawamu grade 10. 12. Nomba grade 12, kwa ulianda ne chisugu. Awa, ndoko kumbe chisugu. Kwa kwa language. Eh, walanda kwa loko language. Jika hile tizamu yena tamula mba yonsi. Taiba mulo kwa language. Kwa hile mambo kwa landa English mwono. Mm -hmm. So I want to hear you speak English. <laughs> How many subjects do you take? Seven subjects. Okay. Which one? Mathematics, English, Biology, Science, uh -huh. Chemistry. Chemistry. Okay. Okay, guys. I wish you well. All the best in your exams. Uh -huh. I want the next time when I hear you have all passed and you have uh, uh -huh. you be the next leaders in Zambia. Who is the member of pa in your constituency? What is the name? Mwense constituency. Who is the MP? David Mabumba. Okay, now you can ask David Mabumba. Wow. <laughs> Guys, um, the member of parliament for this place is David Mabumba, former minister of Higher education. Yeah, okay. He's my good friend. Okay, but need to come on. So this place guys is known as Munung. Banana City. Here we go guys, uh, when I was growing up I was a kid more than 30 years ago, we used to learn in school about the Mununshi banana scheme. So here is the plantation of the Mununshi banana scheme, very popular, fresh memories from childhood. Comment down below, have you ever heard of the Mununshi banana scheme and it is now uh, called the Mununshi Estates. I don't know why it changed because I couldn't speak to the general manager. He was unwell. That is what I was told. But however, I was just passing through this road and to show you the Mununshi banana scheme or the Mununshi Estates. They produce bananas. And I found a lot of people who come here for orders just to buy the bananas. This place has been insane, fresh memories, childhood memories. So it is found here in Munushi under the Muense. Yeah, so it is under the Muense district. That is where it is found. And here is, is, is the place. Here are the offices of this farm. Then, this place is managed by the IDC. Look, no bananas coming. IDC, Industrial Development Corporation, they are the ones in charge of this uh, plantation. We now uh, enter Mansabombe. So, hey guys, on my way to 
to Kawambwa. I have reached this place known as Mansabombwe. Mansabombwe. That's where I've reached on my way to Kawambwa. Mansabombwe. This is where you find uh, Chief Mwata Kazembe. So the people here are the Lunda speaking people. The Lunda speaking people, guys. Okay, guys, let's go. As you can see, guys, I'm a new biker on the scene, and that's me trying my best. Very soon, I'll have full gear, full riding gear, but here I've got a vest, t shirt, and a jacket. It was damn hot. But soon the weather just suddenly changed because this part of Zambia rains. And when it rains, it is cat and dogs. So I was so worried um, of my gadgets, especially I only worry about my phone because the, the camera I'm using, it is waterproof. Uh, looking at I had to prepare for this journey friends and also at the force we are going to see how I was traveling to get a clear picture because of the, the force is continuously raining. Guys you see that is Chief uh, Mwata Kazembe so this is Kazembe area. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh -huh. So naime. Okay. So pano veta patishani pa. Oh, I'm now taking you to go and see the palace, just the front edge where Chief Mwata Kazembe lives and this is the roundabout, this is easy place and next to his palace is the market so i went around twice take a look that's him they are showing a statue of him on that roundabout oh my god so chief mata kazem happens to be the chief of the lunda speaking people so lunda is a language which also is like a segment of Pemba. This biker was telling him, I'm a new entrant in motorbiking. Let's go together. Yes, boss. I'm quite a few. Okay. How are you? Eh? How? That's not that Oh. So on Tumba Oh, 
89 kilometers from here. So at Mbereshi, we turn on the we we branched on the Ntumbachushi Kawamba Road. That is the road uh, which we are using today. Have you ever heard of Mbereshi? Have you ever heard of Kawamba? I also want to hear some people who have lived because I have a big audience. Some people from childhood they lived in such places or in this part of Zambia. Have you ever heard of these places? Then it began raining and I was soaked. <laughs> I was saying no 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 no. This is not fair. <laughs> My camera uh, was as good as safe because thank God it is waterproof. Take a look. So, <laughs> this part of Zambia uh, has got a lot of rains. I've got something to say concerning the same. I wonder why farmers in Zambia who live in drought prone areas, trust me, if they came here, they would have good harvest for their crop. One of the reasons I move like this is to discover how people live. One of the big things I've discovered here, people are so good when it comes to camera. Okay, for now guys, let's branch off because we have reached Ntumbachushi um, turn off. Just one kilometer from the junction we are at the monument let's find out hey guys so as you can see the tumba two national monument so that's where we are going just one kilometer we are good to go so this is where so let's go to tumba two guys Chushi Falls! Oh my god! Oh my god! Yeah. 
In 50 meters, you will arrive at your destination. We just see pictures. Hey! Hey! Sariva! Yango! I'm introducing. Okay. i Okay, especially at least the language English Yarawama. Okay. So the way in Tumbaju, Tumba is the mountain. Uh -huh. then, Tumba mountain. Yes. Then Jushi is the smoke. Uh -huh. So a smoke mountain. Hey. Like most smoke you know, the smoke that under the zone is there. Uh -huh. so that needs to come out during the pouring of water. Mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. And the source is that it goes there. Okay. And it goes and then to a private. Oh, that is where it does even the sacrifice. Yes. Okay, Matakazembe. Yes. So this cause is in Matakazembe's uh, chief dome. No. Okay. Oh, chief? Chief Munganda. Oh, chief Munganda. Okay. Nice. And the first people, oh, the name of this river is in Mona River. Mona. In Mona River. Okay. So here in Shinga, Mona means a very small fish. Okay. We found this river. Oh, that small white mushroom. Body in Gandawel is down to remember people. Okay. Now it's very well. Okay. But in Eastern province and in Mwanza Wongwe, Mwana means they're going to die. Okay. <laughs> I like that. Yes. yes. And the best people who were living here, they are the Bushmen. The Bushmen? Yes. So wow. the Bushmen, they were staying this site, mm. right on the mountain, is about 700 meters. Mm. The Bushmen, they even left some drawings in the caves about two times. Wow. Systematic and naturalistic type of thing. Wow. All those paintings, they were getting certain plants from the Liberian forest in Gambo, I mean, this forest is like this one. Wow. And they were meeting with the gravel. That's when they started painting. Mm. And the bushmen, they were just hunting animals without cultivating the land and stealing neither guy so down from Chipumunganda skip to the whole of this land. <laughs> and the Mbewa clan from Chipumunganda skip to the whole of this land, they were annoying. That's when they decided Okay. By the time they were chased, they went in their Congo in the police. Ah. So even now, they are there. Okay. And then in 1976, that's when they declare the National Monument wow. and the National Health and Conservation Committee. So this is all about it, but it's called Victor Munganda reporting at it, but it's called Thank you, you know, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Victor. Thank you. Amen. Thank you, thank you so much. Okay. Wow. So you have heard the, the brief history about this beautiful waterfalls. So I would like to take a picture here so that I make some memories also. So what you are saying is that upstream there there is another four mean cotton drop and eight other some they are shallow, some they are deep. Okay, just on top there. Yes. Four of them. Yes. Four of them. And then these curtains. This is the many. The many curtains. Then there is this, this one. one. That guy. Then there is the. So it's the third from the top. Uh -huh. And the width is from the very top. Okay, so nice. It's 30 by 60 width. Wow, 30 by 60. Okay, 30 by 60. Oh. So the, the picture, even from here, okay, here is the best place, eh? 
Wow. Ooh. Okay, guys, now Mr. Victor is taking me to the second viewing point. Let's go and see the second viewing point. Uh -uh. Oh, there was a bridge here. Yes. <laughs> we are going that side. Uh huh. But now, come and see here. That's the second viewing point. Wow. Second view point. Woo. Nice. Wow. Eh, eh, eh. Beautiful. Oh, meantime, we can't go there until the water comes down. Yeah, that's when we provide the okay. Some logs, so oh, some logs, the people can just yeah. walk over. Yeah. Okay, yeah, this one is powerful. So you, uh, there, there was a bit of noise. Uh, so you mean on top there? That's where we have uh, mm -hmm. four mini falls or small waterfalls. Small waterfalls there, there on top. Yeah. Okay, and then oh, they are also like. Swimming pools again. Yes. The yes. same for one. Yes. Okay, very nice. Is there a fish in this river? There is a small fish. Looks okay. like bigger fish. That's what we call ngona. Oh, the ngona. The, the ngona fish is here. Small fish like bigger fish. Yes. Wow, very beautiful. And the name of the river again? It's ngona river. Ngona river. Are there crocodiles here? There are no crocodiles. No crocodiles no, here. Okay, where water is so fast, the crop don't don't live here. Wow, so nice. So guys, you have seen for yourself. This is why I brought you to show you. So this has been uh, one of the waterfalls I'm showing. So I'll continue going to Kawamba. More waterfalls. And, and there is another one as you going in the northern part of Kawamba. Uh huh. Mumangwe Falls is the second to the Lumangwe, so after Kawamba, today I'm sleeping in Kawamba. The next falls from Ntumbachushi is Lumangwe. Second to the Victoria Falls. Next to the Victoria Falls. Second from the big falls is the Lumangwe. Oh my god, I can't wait for you guys to watch that one as well. So that's why I always say if you are new, you are not yet subscribed, you are missing out. I'm going to show you what. Western media has never showed you the beauty of Zambia. In the series I call the Uncharted Territory of Zambia. Okay guys, so we are climbing on top to go and see another spectacular view. So we climb the stairs. I hate climbing, but because I came to give you content, I'm strengthened. Woo. So ladies and gentlemen, let me safely say welcome to Zambia, the land of hundreds of waterfalls. Boom! Oh my god! So we are coming from there. Yeah. Hey. Ha, ha. Okay. Can you see where we are coming from? Oh my god!
so is this where there is like a pool also? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> this is the <a> death point. <laughs> you try here, you are gone. Where does this pipe go? You tap it from there. Let's go to Oh, the, oh, the one you use now, the water there for you. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. You Tumba Chushi waterfalls has got like six levels. So we are from level one. We are now at level two where there's another curtain of falls. Then we'll go to level three. Then to level four. Let's watch the video. Zambia is beautiful. And all these levels, they are going up, 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 up. Let's continue watching the video. Tumba Chush in Luapula province. Honestly speaking, there are some people who have chosen to remain anonymous without them. Trust me, this trip would not have been possible. So, do you wish for me to continue if it is in your power once again? join the bandwagon of people who can help me because i'm about to exit this place resources are going down this tour guide mr victor munganda very patient man and he loves his job he has really helped me to take me around for me to get the best shot so he's taking me to another level up so we are almost there in a minute will be there shortly going up 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 wow. let's continue watching I the video the show has ended <laughs> wow wow When I thought everything is over, I was wrong. Take a look now. Look at this. Take a look. This is the Sentumbachushi Falls. Western media will never show you everything about this. They have only showed you the Victoria Falls. But look how beautiful it looks, guys. Thank you. Hmm. We continue, guys. There is another one. <laughs> Stay tuned. Don't go. Beautiful. Look where we are going. It's like there is nothing where we are going. <laughs> Like there is nothing, but wait, let's go. Now I understand. Somebody told okay. me when he heard that I'm coming, he said, Travel okay, okay. go and pass through the shrine. So this is the shrine for Chief Munganda. Guys, we are almost done. There is even another one, more spectacular. Again, I was shocked. It's going up and up and up. Remember, I told you they are like steps levels of this uh, waterfalls they are in levels here yeah, a ketan another ketan we still find more streams and mr victor munganda was busy here telling me please be careful be careful he kept telling me watch your step Oh 
my god! Hey! <laughs> Aha! Hey! So this is another case. Okay, so this is what we call natural swimming. Okay, the natural swimming pool. So it's your identified in the season. Sorry? In the dry season. Oh, in identified in the dry season. True, sure, more than rain season. So here, this is where people can step up during the the dry season. Wow. Okay. So this is uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Actually, the next one is wow. the one which had the Another smooth height. I really loved it. Let's watch the video. Wow. Nice. Uh, so even this one has got a plunge pool somewhere here. Wow, during dry season it's also good, isn't it? But this one is good. Oh, it's even in dry season. Even in, in dry season it's very good. Wow, awesome, awesome. What too many? I didn't know, I thought there's only one. This is the? Okay, oh, Bryston. So some people, when they come as a group, they can come and do some brying there. Oh my God. <laughs> hey! So one is running this side. Both sides. Okay, okay. So he's going this side. Oh, there's another one this yeah. side. Okay, at least I've seen it. Hey, this is the fourth one, eh? Yeah. So one, we had number two somewhere there, number three. Then the big one. Sorry. You see, we oh couldn't even go to the last one. Take a look. I think you will believe my word when I said this one is even more spectacular. Let's watch the video. Without any doubt, ladies and gentlemen, I know the fact that it's entertainment. I showcase Zambia more than any other vlogger you ever know in Zambia and this is just the beginning since I now have transport for those of you who can sponsor me or you know what you can do just to help more with anything you are welcome thank you so much for watching I'm so grateful for your support at this time I say welcome to Kawambwa Waterfalls is a sibling to the mighty Victoria Falls. It looks like a photocopy. I lie not. It is here in Kawambwa. That's the next video. Watch, share me out if you can. Thank you. I've reached at some lodge, I don't even know the name, but uh, does it even matter? I'm so hungry. Yeah, I'm so hungry. Look what I have for dinner here in Kawambwa. So I've reached Kawambwa, some fish, vegetables, and shima. Yeah, so this is the restaurant area. So I'm just having dinner.
So what can I say? Thank you so much for watching. Be on the lookout for more insane uh, waterfalls videos coming here in the northern circuit of Zambia. See you in the next one, guys. Peace.